hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Karen and this is the journaling type <laughs> um, today I am bringing you with this awesome journaling video and I it's kind of more like an ink washing type of journaling but I do add um, craft later on at the end so if you guys are interested in how everything comes up together and what I did then you can keep watching the video um, this is uh, this was very fun um, I've been wondering how I would enjoy the ink washing like um, adding it to my journaling with like craft and papers and like washi tapes and you know I have already done ink washing before and added to like my regular journaling and stuff but I never really added like washi tape or didn't add it like anything to accessorize the page around it. So um, I wanted to try that here. Oopsie, sorry about that. I'm gonna pick, pick that up so it won't ring again. Um, body Works. <laughs> Bath and Body Works telling me that they have a sale. Um, so <laughs> we're getting into that season again. <laughs> so here I am trying um, couple of inks and seeing how they react to the water and if I can blend a lot with the ink or if it was it's gonna take me to put um, add ink multiple times to get to the shadow parts that I want to do or to give more detail so yeah and then I was trying to see like okay how long do I wait and would the ink still react to it because um, I do have things that I want to um, go with the fountain pen and then um, use my watercolor brush or my water brush so I wanted to test that out before I decide on which pen and ink I want to use so I went with the Twispy um, what is it called Twispy 580 A L R or A R L I don't know I'm so bad and this is an extra fine nib and I'm using Colorverse um, Golden Wrecker and um, yeah, I think I said it. Colorist Golden Record in an extra fine nib. And I really, really did enjoy using this um, fountain pen and ink. I already, um, it's been a while because I, I recorded this video a little bit ago. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, I haven't had the chance to edit it or I've been editing other stuff that I've been leaving this for later. But now that I'm, I have the chance to edit it. Um, I'm really excited because I really did enjoy how this came out. I did a little bit of, of a mistake when I was drawing and it was too late by the time I noticed it. So I don't really like how it came out, but um, everything else looks really nice. I like the shadow of the trees. I mean of the um, leaves and all that in the tree. It just looks really nice. I was trying to go for a more like warm type of like sunset, you know, um, time and it was supposed to be kind of like a walk around near like a uh, not a diner but could be like a cafe or something like that couldn't can't find the right words <laughs> um, but it was really fun I really like ink washing and I've been doing it a lot lately I've been using my Hobonichi A6 to do a lot of my try slash journaling ink, wa ink washing um, and it be, it's been going really well. I love it. I'm not really sure if you guys will call this ink wash, but I can't really find the proper words for it. So I'm just gonna calling it ink washing. <laughs> um, but yeah, here I go in with some um, shadow and start to give try to give a form to the tree. So it will look like this is the bottom bar. And you can see like little... Um, little areas where you can see a little bit lighter than the other parts I think this came out super well um, I really loved how it came out I I had this um, I came I didn't came up with this idea I'm sorry I got this idea from a picture I um, I found on Pinterest and it had this exact same kind of like tree type and everything and so I cut basically one part of the image and that's what I'm actually drawing or coloring in here um, so yes it was fun I'm still trying to slowly come up with my own ideas um, so by the time I did this I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do so I went to Pinterest to see like okay give me some type of like 
very nice vibey um, <laughs> watercolor-ish or like illustration um, picture. So I can kind of like copy something like that for my journaling spread. And I really like how this came out. So yeah, um, I I have I have been using a bit more because I started doing Inktober. Um, you guys only seen like one of my like what is it the sign art piece I don't know um and so I do like how it came out and I actually did two more days or one more day but I give up because I'm the type of person that if I'm being forced to do something I will not do it like when I do my journaling videos the reason why I haven't done journaling videos often is because um I feel the force like I feel forced to do my my journaling videos when I'm journaling without recording I don't feel forced I don't feel like I need to do something specific or that I need to show something or you know and I can take my time okay like, I'm gonna pick this I'm gonna pick that but because I'm recording I'm like okay I have this little time I can't take three hours or four hours to journal you know I have to like do this really quick or I, I feel the need that I have to do this really quick and I don't like that so um that's why i don't do a lot of journaling videos is because i don't like when i when it comes to recording the videos i have no idea what i want to do and even if i try to plan it i start to, i start to feel very overwhelmed and i end up kind of like you know what i'm not gonna even think about it <laughs> so it can be really hard for me to do anything when i'm recording myself because I, it feels like I lose everything, like my thoughts and my ideas. And I, I, sometimes I don't feel no longer like creative anymore. And I do hate that. <laughs> so that's why Inktober, I really haven't done anything with it. I did about two drawings and that was it. And I started the third one, but I never finished it. And, um, that's why I didn't want to like make it official or anything I posted a picture and a video in my Instagram but I didn't want to like let people know that I will be doing Inktober and I will be posting all my drawings because I don't even know if I will be you know even doing anything else for Inktober this year so um <laughs> yeah honestly guys I have so much that I am planning for this year um First of all, I am trying to get a good setup for Christmas. I, I know we're still in October, but I am planning a whole, I'm planning to journal the whole 31 days of December, um, part of like the Christmas holiday or like the Christmas season. And obviously I, I didn't want to do like from the 1st to the 25th of December and then not do the rest. So, um, that's why I wanted to buy a new Hobonichi Weeks from 2023 so that I can use that one as my, um, December, like, journal. Um, as you guys can see on this journal that I'm using right now, this is a Hobonichi Weeks. I just added some blank, some pages from the notepad and I glued them in on the weekly side. And then I added this washi tape in the middle to kind of, um, so that the the paper that I just added won't appear on top of the weekly um size so yeah I don't know how to explain that but um yeah I I end up not buying one because I do have a um notebook that I also saved up so that I can use it for Christmas so I decided that I'm just gonna save my money and just use that journal and I'm really, really excited, not going to lie. So um, I'm trying to get all um, illustrations. I'm not really sure if I'm going to make any washi tape. But if I do, i probably going to make some Christmas washi tape. And so I'm trying to get myself planned out. So that when um, November comes in, I am already set up for Christmas. And yeah, I'm very excited. Christmas is my favorite, favorite holiday. And I love the season. I love the decoration. I love the colors. It's just full of beautiful 
and amazing laughters and obviously a lot of this is just because of Christmas but I am happy that at least people choose a few days of the year where they are happy and cheerful and they're not super assholes sometimes oh my god did I just said that I'm so sorry um sorry about that <laughs> but in a way I'm very excited for Christmas and so um yeah, I don't know if I explained this. Uh, well, I don't. I've never explained this, but um, this year I wanted to do things differently. Um, I'm hoping that by December or November I can buy a printer. I already have my mind set on a printer that it will be good for sticker for like printing on sticker paper and also printing on clear paper. Because I was going to make my own stickers by, you know, sending the illustration and all that stuff to a company. But I decided to just, like, wait until November, get a new printer, and then start printing all the illustration that I want to use for um, Christmas. And, um, yeah, I am hoping that I can do, like, a, maybe, like, one-minute video every day and I can post it the next day like my journaling for that day or anything like that I really want to so I'm in between of either I post them in all my social medias or I only post the, the videos in my Instagram and my YouTube or my YouTube I'm not really sure yet so um, if I do post it on YouTube it will only be a short I'm not doing a, a whole video so it's gonna be like a one minute video so I'm pretty excited. Um, so yeah, back to the journey, journaling for a moment. So I, I came up with this little idea of cutting the center of this um, picture frame um, or like Polaroid type of style of picture frame. And I want it to have like the girls in the background. So I want it to have one in the background while the other one was in front of it. And so I was like, how can I make the other one kind of like blurry? Like... You know, it won't, like, they won't look like they're in the same place or, like, I glue them in the back, even so that's exactly what I did. So I had this, like, little post-it notes that are, um, like, matte clear or something. And I thought I could achieve that if I use this little, I think it's a frosted, like a frosted type, but what is it called? Um, I don't want to say, I don't want to say acetate because it's not acetate. Wait, it could, no, wait, it's not, it's not, <laughs> I forgot the name of it, um, but either way, I got this on AliExpress, and I haven't used them, and I am so happy I came up with this idea, because now I can do multiple things with this, I just don't know, I haven't been very creative lately, so I'm like, oh, Karen, you can make this and make that, and I'm like, why am I not thinking of this, why is it very hard for me right now to come up with ideas it's been so difficult and um that's why I don't share my process of journaling in YouTube on YouTube because I take the longest time to decide do I like this do I not like it and then I go back and forward and sometimes I don't even glue them all the way in so that I can take them out later on if I don't want it or don't like it I'm the worst person uh I just it's really hard for me to decide <laughs> so um but this was fun and I have this little um well I have a couple of uh this like sticker girls like really cute stickers of really nice dressed pretty girls <laughs> and I really rarely use them so I was so happy that I at least used two of them in this spread so my idea here is because I don't have that um, tape that you can actually lift the image and this is actually a, a sticker by itself already. I need it to in some way kind of like make it look like it's a little bit forward from the paper and so that's why, what I'm doing here. Um, I'm sorry if this looks like a mess or a waste but honestly I just didn't know what else to do I just maybe there was a better way maybe I could have used cardboard and cut a little cardboard and then glue it to her and then glue another 
tape on the other side of the cardboard and that will help but I wasn't thinking about that okay I wasn't <laughs> I just thought that right now okay so uh, I guess that's an idea for later but by the way I think the paper the name I was looking for is vellum um, I think that's the word that I was looking for this little um, tape <laughs> or not tape but little background that I added on the picture frame um, but I, uh, I actually got some vellum that I'm talking about about vellum I actually got some vellum that I've been using a lot lately um, I bought it a while ago when I had my printer and sticker cutter and the whole idea was to use it for printing on it and use it for like backgrounds and stuff on journaling but um, I never did so uh, the other day I did some stamping and stuff on it and I use it as a jur for journaling and it came out so well and just you you guys luck I literally recorded the whole thing I really love how it came out such a pretty journaling um, I almost was tempted to upload that one first but because this one have been the oldest journaling video that I have right now I really would like to post this one first and then you know show you guys my new one which I'm hoping that it will be uploaded soon um, hopefully on Tuesday um, and hopefully this video is up by oh wait tomorrow's Monday <laughs> well, hopefully it's up by Monday or, or Tuesday um, I got so many videos edited and ready to go and so um, I'm pretty excited I'm, for once I'm on top of everything yes <laughs> so I do also have my Hobonishi order that I made a couple days ago. Um, I will say I didn't order much. I only ordered mostly the One Piece um, pencil boards and a couple other miscellaneous stuff. Mostly like stationary. Like, um, what is it called? I can't even remember. But it's like accessories and stuff. Nothing very, nothing out of the ordinary. Um, no covers or anything but um but yeah and here I was able to use this stamp that I, I just have so many stamps that I can use for journaling sometimes but one I just recently organized my whole table and my stamps and stuff so I know now where my things it my things are but um, before this I had a mess <laughs> it was horrible <laughs> so yeah Oh, and I glued this in sticker, I mean, I made this in a sticker paper so that it will be easier to just stick in on the on the spread without having to, like, put any tape on it or anything like that, which having sticker paper is such a big help if you use stamps and, and all that because it just automatically, after you're done, you just peel the back out and then glue it in, in your journal or wherever you want to and you're done which I really, really love. So um, that's basically what I've been using a lot of the times. I even watercolor in it once, and I, I do have the watercolor stickers. I just haven't used them because I'm, that's the type of person I am. I make something and I like it and I don't end up using it. <laughs> so yeah, but, um, but yeah, it's okay. So it's not a big deal. Um, uh, talking about my table and my stationery and organization, I made a video showing you guys my table. Um, if you guys know, I you, I don't know, but I live in a van, so I said like a camper van converted, and this table is actually I made it myself, and I made well actually I made everything off the table. Um, that means like I made the drawer, I made the top, I painted the top, I this I cannot even tell you that the whole table was made by myself all I have was wood and and those little bolts and stuff and I put all this together and I cut it myself and I painted myself and it's not the best like the best table but it's it's been super handy and I have a big drawer for stationery and since I already um, kind of like cleaned up or like organized my drawer, I wanted to know if you guys want me to post that video. Um, if you're interested in seeing like my stationary drawer and a little bit of my stationary outside. Um, but yeah, I, I recorded a video because I thought it would be nice since I really don't show my room because I don't have a room. 
So the hope is in the future to have like a little separate trailer where that one will become my stationary room and a little bit of storage as well. So that's the goal that we want to achieve hopefully next year. It was supposed to be for this year, but things happen. It's fine. We are okay with that. So yeah, um, as you guys uh, notice in here, I use this really nice paper. It's actually ink in this paper. Um, I was cleaning my fountain pens because I believe I was, I actually was inking up some fountain pens and then I was cleaning the tip off with some paper and I really love how the color came out and I saved it for journaling later because it looks so good. So good. I loved it. And honestly, I it could even be the same color that I use for this page for the ink washing. So yeah, and I'm just adding some distress ink around it from Tim Holt and um, just erasing some stuff here and there. But basically, I am I am done. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this really nice um, journaling section with me, and um, just a little chit chat with you guys I really don't do this often I honestly wasn't going to do it because I feel like people prefer just music or ASMR's video but then I was like Karen this is your channel you do whatever you want and you know this is who you are you can't really stop doing things that you like just because of other people so I'm trying to do what I love which is what originally I wanted to do in this channel but yeah um i added some clouds and stuff uh, later on so that's why i'm not done i thought i was done but uh i added some clouds as well around on this page so it will kind of look like both page have to do with one another and um i think that was a good touch for the spread and i don't think what i was do i don't know what i was doing at first but later on i was like oh yeah i like this they look like clouds <laughs> So yeah, that's it guys. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and listening to me. Thank you for being here, all the new subscribers. Thank you so much. You guys are amazing. And I can't wait to share more videos with you guys and keep talking with you guys. Again, thank you so much. <laughs> I will see you all in my next one. God bless you. Have a wonderful day and take care guys. Bye bye.